there, future nurse. Now, I know I'm getting ahead of myself here, but I bet you'll like this video. And if you do, be sure to head to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube for way more content than you can get here. And you can sign up for free. CPR on an adult. Check the scene for safety, then check the person for responsiveness and breathing. If the person doesn't respond or isn't breathing, then call 911 or tell someone else to do so. Then place the person on their back on a firm, flat surface. Start with 30 chest compressions with two hands centered on the chest, shoulders directly over the hands and elbows locked. Chest compressions should be at a depth of at least 2 inches and a rate of 100 to 120 per minute. Huge tip. Now compressions should go to the tempo of Staying Alive, the song, and allow the chest to have full recoil on each compression. Now open the airway using a head tilt or chin lift technique and then give two breaths. Ensure the breath lasts one second and makes the chest rise. Continue in giving sets of 30 chest compressions and two breaths and always use an AED once available. AED steps for a non-breathing adult or a child older than 8 who weighs more than 55 pounds. Assuming CPR steps are in process, use the AED as soon as available. Turn the AED on and follow the voice prompts. Remove clothing that covers the chest and attach the pads by placing one on the upper right side of the chest and the other on the lower left side, a few inches below the armpit. Now if the pads touch, place one of the pads in the middle of the chest and the other on the back, between the shoulder blades. Plug the pad connector cable into the AED if necessary. Let the AED analyze the heart rhythm and make sure no one is touching the person and say clear in a loud voice. Push the shock button when prompted. Now after the AED delivers the shock or if no shock is advised, then immediately restart CPR beginning with chest compressions. Here are the steps for CPR on a child. First, check the scene for safety and obtain consent from their guardian. Check for responsiveness and breathing. Always call 911 or tell someone else to do so. Place the child on their back on a firm, flat surface. Always give 30 chest compressions with the heel of the hand in the center of the child's chest with your hand on top and fingers interlaced. Position the shoulders directly over the hands and lock the elbows and keep your arms straight. Now the depth of compressions should be about 2 inches at a rate of 100 to 120 per minute. Open the airway using a head tilt or chin lift technique and give two breaths. Continue 30 chest compressions and two breaths until there's an obvious sign of life or until the AED arrives. Steps for CPR on an infant. First, check the scene for safety and obtain consent from the guardian. Then check for responsiveness and breathing. Call 911 or tell someone else to do so. Place the infant on their back on a firm, flat surface and stand or kneel beside them with your hips at a slight angle. Give 30 chest compressions by placing both thumbs side by side in the center of the baby's chest just below the nipple line. Use other fingers to encircle around the baby's chest for support. Use both thumbs to press down and the depth of compression should be about 1.5 inches at a rate of 100 to 120 per minute. Open the airway using a head tilt or chin lift technique and give two breaths. Continue 30 chest compressions to two breaths, but if there's a second rescuer available, then it changes to 15 to 2 ratio, or until obvious signs of life, or if EMS arrives. Cardioversion and defibrillation are not the same. Think C for cardioversion is C when you can count a pulse. Synchronized cardioversion. You can use a manual defibrillator to read and synchronize the client's heart rhythm. The rhythm is synced with low energy shock that is delivered at the peak of the QRS complex to get the rhythm back to normal. Now, rhythms that can be converted are atrial fibrillation, unstable or symptomatic A flutter, supraventricular tachycardia that is unstable or if the vagal maneuver does not work. Now, D for defibrillation is when clients D don't have a pulse, so no synchronization is needed. It's a way to convert a rhythm back to normal. So an AED will deliver a high energy shock, which temporarily stops the heart to return it back to a normal rhythm. Now, rhythms that can be defibrillated are ventricular fibrillation, V-fib, or pulseless V-tac. So don't forget, if they have the V, give them the D. Looking to cut your study time in half? Head on over to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube. You can sign up for free and get access to all of this.